A former chairman of the Katanning Hostel has told an inquiry how he found his son in bed with now-convicted pedophile Dennis McKenna, but didn't tell authorities. Now 75, the man who chaired the hostel board for a number of years said McKenna had threatened to destroy his life if he told what he saw. Today, relatives of Dennis McKenna described him as hot-headed and controlling. Robin and Wayne McKenna worked as supervisors at the Catanning Hostel between 1977 and 1984. They were given jobs by Wayne's brother Dennis, the warden at St Andrews. Robin McKenna told the inquiry Dennis would publicly embarrass students during mealtimes and over the PA system, and that her brother-in-law was very controlling, describing him like Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde. He would be nice as pie one minute and then blow up. Robin McKenna told the inquiry she never felt comfortable about the way her brother-in-law spoke to staff and to students, but she never challenged him, fearing that she and her husband would lose their jobs. In his evidence, Wayne McKenna said at times he saw a couple of boys sitting on his brother's lap, but thought nothing of it, but said when he approached his brother on the way he spoke to some students, would be told, stiff cheese if you don't like it. The inquiry continues. Peter Capsanis, Nine News.